today we're going to learn a simple arpeggio shape to get you soloing melodically right away. As always, if you want to support my channel, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Paul Warren Music. There you'll find all sorts of goodies such as tabs, videos, and access to private lessons. During the intro of this video, I played without a backing track because I wanted the notes to speak for themselves and I wanted you to hear that you can play melodically if you use certain arpeggios. The arpeggio that I primarily used was the major seven arpeggio and that's what we're discussing today. The reason it's smart to use arpeggios to help build phrases is because if I just play up a scale, it sounds scalar. And since we practice scales to memorize them, many times when we're soloing, they simply come out one note after the other just like we memorized them in the first place. By adding arpeggios to our playing, we're able to skip over notes and play something that sounds much more melodic. We're gonna be playing in the key of A major, so I'm gonna be playing here on the fifth fret of the sixth string. In any major key, the one, the four, and the five chords are always major. Today we're going to be discussing the one and the four chords only. We're going to put a major seven arpeggio on the one chord and the four chord. The one chord in the key of A major is A. So we're gonna put a major seven arpeggio starting on that root. One, three, five, seven. So that's seven notes away from the root. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here it is together. And you can add the octave as well, the eighth note. Let's play the exact same thing on the four chord. The four chord in the key of A is D. One, three, five, seven. octave here. You can hear that those arpeggios sound much better than just playing up and down a scale when you're improvising. So using those arpeggios is a great way to say something melodically that has some harmonic value to it. You can add notes from your major scale to those arpeggios as you see fit, but the, what I would do initially is simply play straight through them until you get used to them. Then you branch out from there adding notes from other arpeggios or your scale shapes. Obviously there are tons of other ways of playing major seven arpeggios, but today we wanted to cover that one simple shape because you can use it right there on the one chord and the four chord very easily. When you do practice, make sure you're practicing over a backing track because that will give you harmonic context as well as good timing. If you enjoyed today's content, please make sure to hit the like button. It really does help the channel. And if you want to subscribe, make sure to hit that button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified of new video releases. And if you'd like to download tabs for those arpeggios that we played today, make sure you check the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.